Number 63. What is the molarity of the diluted solution when each of the following solutions is diluted to the given final volume? And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have 2.35 liters of a 0 0.350 molar solution of phosphoric acid, which is H3PO4, and that's all diluted to a final volume of 4.00 liters. Okay, diluted, 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 we're obviously diluting solutions. That's the dilution formula. That's this formula right here, M1V1 equals M2V2. We have two pairs of molarity and their corresponding volumes, and all we have to do is just make sure that the molarity is corresponding with the correct volume. Could seem a little tricky, but not really. Look at this one, guys. The, the clear takeaway or the clear giveaway is if they tell you that you have a volume, and in this case it's liters, of a molarity. So anytime that you see a volume value of A is like the keywords, molarity, that means that these go together, right? This of this, they, they are linked. So I know my one pair. Does it matter which side I put it on, the left or the right of the formula? Absolutely not. They're all equal. I'm going to put it on the left side. So on the left side, I have a 0 0.350 molarity and the volume is 2.35 liters. Now let's see, let's find out the other molarity and the volume. Well, they say it was diluted, uh, diluted to a final volume of four uh, liters. So we know that this volume has to be 4.0 liters, 4.00. What's the molarity? Well, that's what the question was asking. What is the molarity? So this has to be X. Now, since we have all the numbers and the one variable, we could just use algebra. 0 0.350, and I'm going to get rid of the units because I know what this unit's going to be in, right? It's molarity. So I'm just going to keep, just put the numbers in here. So this would be x times 4. And now all we got to do is just solve for x. Let's divide by 4.0 on both sides. Okay, calc's out. Let's see what we get. 0 0.350 times 2.35 divided by 4. And I'm looking at all the numbers in the question. They're all three sig figs, so my answer should be three sig figs. So 0 0.206. And now this is a molarity value. So just look at what the unit they gave for molarity. Oh, they gave it as capital M? So I'm going to put minus capital M, and that's it. But just remember, guys, capital M, molarity, equals moles over liters. Same thing. Okay, that's it, guys. What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, press the subscribe button if you like, but if not, that's okay. I understand. Uh, maybe we'll get you on the next couple of questions. I really hope that I'm giving you, you know, good help in chem. And if you guys are in physics or in math class, we also have uh, questions for those subjects as well. So you could go back to the channel and look those up just to see if we could help you there too. All right, guys, have an awesome day. See you later.